Welcome back everybody, Robert with Occupancy Boost. You're gonna like today's video because I'm gonna show you how to do a better job of marketing and advertising your property online by updating the names of your room types. There's a few simple tools available to everybody that will enable you to change the name of your room type based on the features and amenities that that room has. This will help you distinguish yourself from the competition Get your hotel or motel or short-term rental clicked and booked more often. Stay tuned. I'm going to switch screens and quickly show you guys how to get this done. Okay, I am in Expedia right now, and I just did a random search for a property, and I want to show you guys an example of what I'm going to review with you guys. I think it's easier to start off with an example. This is just a hotel I pulled up online on Expedia. And this is an example of what I think, you know, some poor, poor decisions and a couple of good decisions in this property. This is a Holiday Inn Express hotel. And you can see how they name their rooms here. This room here is a, on the left hand side is a standard room, one king bed. And look at this room, really nice room. And if you look at the photo, I just scrolled through a couple photos there. If you look at the photo, there's a couch in this room. And over here on the right hand side, this says standard room, two queen beds, but right in the first photo, there's a refrigerator and microwave. So my opinion, <clears throat> those really aren't standard rooms. To me, a standard room is a room that has just a bed and you know, maybe a TV. That's it. This is this this rooms are way above what I consider a standard room. So I would rename these room types. I think it sound a lot more appealing online to, to people that are looking. And I think people would scroll through your pictures and be more interested in what you have to offer if you can get rid of that name, that name standard or attach something on the end of it. Um, they did a good job here with this room in the middle. You know, it tells the customer what it is. It's a mobile roll in shower. So there's no surprises when the customer shows up. And if I scroll down a little bit further, now they forgot, they've got pictures of this room here. This is right down here. This is, a, to me, is horrible. It says standard room. Who, who in the world would want to would book that room? And in addition, there's no pictures attached to it. So either they don't have pictures or they forgot to attach pictures in their extranet. So it's important for you guys to go through, look at your hotel online, shop your hotel a couple times, and look and see what your customers are looking at. Now, if you look here in the middle, they did a great job here with this. It says suite, two queen beds, additional living area. So in my opinion, you know, that tells the customer exactly, not exactly, but it tells them what they're getting for their money. Obviously, this room's going to be a little bit more expensive, but it gives a lot more appeal and it's going to, people are going to want to click on that and take a, a better look. Let me go over here to another hotel that I shop. Now, this property, um, to me, you know, all their rooms, they didn't, or not all of them, but they didn't do a very good job of labeling these rooms. You know, you can see right here, it says one room, one king bed, non-smoking. But in the picture right here, there's a, there's a refrigerator and a microwave in the picture. Now you can't always count on everybody to go to your photos and look through your photos. They're gonna look at these room names and then there, a lot of people are gonna look at the name of the room, then they're gonna click in there. These do not sound appealing to me and this hotel, from what I can see, he's got a lot more to offer than just a king bed in a non-smoking non room. Uh, there's a lot more to offer. And they've they kind of named all their rooms like that. They got a room, two queen beds, non-smoking, um, room, uh, two queen beds, smoking. So it's real bland, real bland. And let me go to a couple good examples here. Now, this is a hotel that I just recently updated. Um, and you can see the big difference here. This is a Studio 6 hotel. And I renamed this room type here, deluxe room, two queen beds. This is an accessible room, non-smoking, but kitchenette. So it tells people right off the bat that you got a kitchenette. I can't tell you how many hotels I look at online and that and they have kitchens in their rooms, but you'd never know it by, by glancing at the property and then scrolling through. You got to scroll through a couple pictures before you get to the kitchen. That's a key factor in my opinion when somebody's booking a hotel, especially if they're looking for a kitchen to have that word kitchen in there and then to have a picture, some really good pictures of your kitchen like I have in, in this for this property. I've got a, a distant picture with the refrigerator, all the microwave, the cabinets, everything, and then a close up here. So I've renamed all their room types with the word kitchen in there and I signified whether it's a king bed, 
smoking or not are two queen beds. Um, right here, let me see this property. This is a Hampton Inn and you know, not that great. This is booking.com. These other examples were Expedia. This is booking.com. So, you know, I've gone in and, and taken a look at this and see, you know, king room, non-smoking. Now you can go down here and people, booking.com does their extranet, their setup of their room names a lot different. I'm gonna show you guys here in a second what that looks like. Expedia gives you a lot more flexibility to name your rooms, but you can do a lot better job than king room, non-smoking because if you read the amenities down here, it tells about a couple different, they do have a microwave in the room and they do have a refrigerator in the room. There's other stuff in here. So there's definitely some upgraded amenities that you don't find in all hotels. So they could have done a, done a better job of naming this room. And as you can see down here, the room type, uh, the, the name of the, the bed type in this room says one large extra double bed, but it's a king room. So it's kind of confusing for the customer. Are they getting a big double bed or are they getting a double bed or are they getting a king bed? So very, very confusing. This, this stuff makes a huge difference in your property. And the problem is you're not going to know it. Um, people aren't going to call you up and tell you. You're just not going to get booked. And then you're going to wonder why you're not getting booked. There's a lot of reason why hotels revenues are suffering is little things like this. Well, they're big things, but going in, shop your hotel and look at what your hotel looks like online and ask yourself, would you buy, would you buy the ho your hotel room? They named their, their, non, their king room non-smoking down here. They also got the wrong uh, bed type in there. Now, they did a pretty good job with this one. It says non-smoking room, king study. Um, it says one large extra double bed and one sofa bed. So that, to me, that's a lot better description. So if somebody's going to click in there, take a look at the photos, and probably, you know, they're, they're going to see what they're going to get for, for their money. Now, it's only a couple bucks more than the king room. So, you know, I kind of wonder, I, I question that. Um, I'm going to Expedia here. This hotel is another one property that I oversee. Um, this property is we've got refrigerators and microwaves in their, in all their rooms. So they've got, uh, they've, I've named all the rooms with refrigerators and microwaves. I am going to go back in and, and change this from standard room to deluxe. I like the word deluxe better. And there are extra amenities in there besides the refrigerator and microwave. There's a work desk in there and they've got some really nice amenities in their, in their restroom for their guests. So I'm going to go back in and rename that. But you can see this looks a lot more appealing than a hotel that just says standard room non-smoking. Big difference. Big difference. Um, let's do another example on booking.com. Now this hotel didn't do such a great job with their room names. They got uh, this. This is even worse. It says king room, two queen rooms, rooms but at least they named, they got the right bed types in there. This has two queen beds, this has one king bed. The previous example, they had they had double beds in there. And then one last example of booking.com. This hotel did a nice job here. They've labeled this as a king suite. And where's that other one? Uh, they got queen suite with two queen beds. Now I like how they did this down here. They signify that they have a jacuzzi in the room. And you would think that common sense all the, all the hotels with jacuzzis in their rooms would say this on booking.com, but I can guarantee you that over 50% of the hotels that have a jacuzzi in their in their one of their rooms, their room type is missing that, that name right there. That is huge. When somebody clicks on there, there's no question what they're getting. They, they're getting a room with a the jacuzzi. They're a lot more apt to book on it. And if they're looking for that, they're going to click on that right away and you know obviously book that room. And they did a good job with their amenities down here. It tells how large the room is. It's got a spa tub down here at the bottom. So that they did a good job, I think pretty good job with that. Like I said, booking.com is a lot tougher to work with as far as room names and Expedia gives you a lot more flexibility. So let's go take a look in the extranet, extranet right now. I'm gonna go into Expedia, okay? And this property here is a property we just looked at. And in order to get to this, this section to update your room names, you just go on the left-hand column here under rooms and rates and go down to room types and rate plans, okay? All your room types are gonna show up down here. And in order to edit a room type, you just click on, on edit. Now, let me stop right there for a second. If you're with a branded hotel like IHG, Hilton, or some other brands, you might not be able to go in here and update your room types. You're probably gonna have to reach out to your franchise and ask them to change them for you. But I you know, obviously still recommend doing it. I don't know how they could argue with you if your room types are missing 
specific qualities that you offer, and it's going to be a lot more appealing for your hotel to get booked. I definitely think, you know, obviously it's worth the invest the time to get the, get those changed. But at this particular hotel is an independent property, so I can go in here and I can, I can edit. So we're going to go take a look at this property right here. So I'm sorry. Let me go back and show you guys what room type that was. I was kind of talking over it. This is a standard room. This, we just looked at this online. This is a standard room, one king bed, non-smoking refrigerator, and microwave. Okay. So I'm going to change this to, to say deluxe room. I've already changed it to refrigerator and microwave. But I'm going to go back and change it to deluxe room. So before I just said standard room, non-smoking. So let's go in here. I click edit. And I've already set all this up. You can change all this stuff if you guys want to. It just goes through and asks you specific questions about the hotel. I'm not going to run through all these. It asks you what type of room, uh, is this a room? Is it a double room, a shared dormitory? There's a lot of different options in there. If you have a short-term rental, obviously you're going to have a different selection than you would if you had, um, you know, if you're, if you're running a hotel. What is a room class? This is a deluxe room. I said I'm going to change it to deluxe room. And let me scroll down and show you guys where that, that shows up. Um, deluxe room is right here. I'm going to click on deluxe. So I'm going to change it to deluxe room. It is, it's not a, really a standard room because it's got upgraded amenities. Um, it asks you questions about, you know, how many bathrooms you have, non-smoking. It's a non-smoking room. And then when you get down here to the bottom, uh, let me go to the middle here. Make sure, I showed you the example at hotelandbooking.com. Make sure you're clicking on here and picking the correct bed type. I see a lot of hotels online that have, there may be a king, king room, but they have the wrong bed type selected. Personally, when I travel, I don't like to, I don't like to stay in, in hotels with small beds. So if I saw something that showed me that it was a, a king room or it was a single room and it had a twin bed in it, I would probably pass it. I would pass it up. I wouldn't stay there. I, I would want, I want a king bed in my room. So if you have king beds in your room, you know, specify that. Make sure you're paying attention to this stuff. And when you get down here to the bottom, it's going to ask you, now this is where your room name shows up online. This is this preview right down here at the bottom. This is where the name of the room shows up online. It says deluxe room, one king bed, non-smoking refrigerator and microwave. Now how I got that refrigerator and microwave part to, sh to show up, you saw where I picked the deluxe room uh, verbiage. The refrigerator and microwave, you just click on this edit button to the right. And I ask you a ask you a series of questions. Um, I already selected up there. It was a room. It's a deluxe room. And when you come down here, what you're going to do is you're going to click on your attributes. You can see it says include up to two attributes. So I'm going to pick. Um, um, it's a non-smoking room. I definitely want to signify that. Um, I see hotels a lot of times that have the room name in there, and I think we saw a couple of those but it doesn't signify if it was sm if it's smoking or not. Let your customers know what they're getting. And it's gonna make it a lot easier on your front desk and a lot easier on yourself as well. And then you can pick a featured amenity from this drop down here. Now there's a lot of different, let me scroll up here and show you guys what, what these look like. I suggest you guys go in here and take a look at all these and kind of get familiar with them if you have access. Um, you know, maybe you just have a refrigerator in your room. Maybe you've just, uh, Maybe you've got pool access. Um, maybe you've got a kitchenette. Um, I showed you the example before the hotel that I oversee that I put as a Studio Six. It has kitchenette, so I made sure I, I I labeled that as a kitchenette room. This hotel has a refrigerator, and microwave, and the option for, for refrigerator and microwave was right here. So I clicked that and I hit apply. That's it. That is all I need to do, and it's going to update it online probably. And I'm sorry, you got to go down here and you got to save it. It's going to update it online probably in about less than less than five minutes. So the hotel is going to look a lot different. Big difference in, in getting bookings. And you can see it already renamed it in the extranet right here. And it will show up online pretty soon. So I got to go through the rest of the room types here and rename those to deluxe. But that's pretty much how that works. Um, obviously, if you have a spa tub in there or any other type of feature to many, you can go through that drop down and pick which one works best for you. Now, booking.com as I mentioned, is a lot different. Now, this is a hotel that I oversee. A um, little different here with booking.com. Um, in order to get to this room details page, you wanna be on the room details, you're gonna click on property. 
and you're going to click on um, room details right there at the bottom. So property and then room details. Now, these names in here in this section are names that I labeled these rooms. These are not show. These are not the names that the rooms are on the internet. And I'll show you what I, what that means right here. So let's go down here. Now this room also has kitchenettes in their hotel, and for my um, for me to look around in the extranet here, I have renamed these room types to their specific, so I, I can look at them. So I'm the only one that can see these particular names, like this two queen bed smoking, king bed smoking. But in order to change what it looks like online, you just click on this edit button right here. Okay, so we went to that, that uh, king room uh, kitchen. And you go in here and you click on the room type. So booking.com, like I said, a lot different. You, I had to label this as a double room because it sleeps up, it sleeps two adults. So you can pick a lot of different uh, room types on here. You can pick twin room if you got uh, you know two twin beds in there. Um, if it's a studio type room, you can qu click studio, um, so on and so forth. This room was named double, and I named this superior king room. Now the reason I did that, there wasn't anything. There wasn't anywhere in this drop down for me to pick a kitchenette. And as you can see, I named the room King Kitchenette, King Kitchenette Smoking. That, it's, a, it's a custom name that I gave it. That's for my, me back in the extranet. That's where you saw those names of all those room types for me to look at. That's what I name it so I can reference it when I go in and, and I, I attach promotions in the extranet. That's where it shows up all over the extranet for me so I know what, what type of room I'm dealing with. It's kind of like my custom name that I give it for myself. So this, this drop down here for the name of the room online, you've got these options right here. Not a whole lot of really good options for you to choose from. And let me scroll back up here. So the room name online, I pick Superior King Room because really that's about the only thing that I could, I could fit that would come close to describing how this room differentiates itself from the other rooms in the hotel. Um, not, not too much to choose from there. Um, you can see it's got, you know, if you've got a, a pool view, a garden view, um, disability access. We saw some of those when, we, when I showed you guys earlier in the video. I think it's very important to Describe to a customer if the if the room is for for disabled uh, people if they if a disabled person is looking for a room or a lot of times those are the last rooms to sell online it's good to let that customer know that the only thing you have left is a disabled is disability access you don't want them to find out when they get there uh, let's scroll back up here and show you guys what some of these look like uh, pretty much the same um, double room with terrace. So really not a whole lot of great, you know, things to choose from. Nothing like the word kitchenette, nothing like the word refrigerator and microwave. If you do have a refrigerator and your microwave in your room, I do suggest you go in there and you name it Deluxe. Um, that's about the closest you're going to come to getting refrigerator and microwave. And like I said, let me go back to that example here with booking.com. You know, they rely more on their amenities underneath the room type. So they've got this guy labeled his room as a king room which to me is real bland. I mean, it's obvious got it's, it's stuff in there. It's got a microwave and it's got a refrigerator. You can see from the amenities down here, they could have easily gone in there and labeled it deluxe room. They did put that they had a king bed in there. And that portion is right here. Um, you're obviously, let me, let me go down. So superior king room is what I chose for this kitchenette room. And then obviously smoking or not, I, I, it's a smoking room. And if you scroll down here, it gives you the choice of the room types right here. So this is a king bed for this room, king bed. So it's got all the different uh, room names or room types, bed types on there. And click continue and that's it. And we'll update your room online, probably just about the same amount of time as Expedia. And you're good to go. Well. Uh, that's pretty much about it. I hope this video helped you guys. Um, I can't stress enough. I think the first step for you guys is to go in online and look and see what your hotel looks like to a customer that's shopping. Click in there, look at the photos, um, make sure that what the features that your room has are displayed in the photos of the room. 
and then go in and make sure that your broom is, is labeled correctly to the customer. Don't just call it a standard king room if you have a refrigerator and microwave. And if you have a kitchenette, by all means, rename the room with the word kitchenette in there. If you can't, like I said, do it yourself, call your brand or call your channel manager and have them help you get this stuff changed. I've had to do that for a couple properties that I work with. They were unable, I was unable to change the room types the room names in the system. So I called the, the, the brand and uh, they, they updated it for me. Uh, that's it. I hope you guys like this video. Please subscribe to my channel. I've got more videos coming out to help you guys uh, make more money. And please like this video. It definitely helps with my viewership and it'll help me be able to pump out more of these videos and share this video with your friends. And oh, like I said, always feel free to comment on my videos and ask questions if you need them. I'm here to help you. Thank you and we'll see you in the next video.